Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a quick One Piece discussion video. Now in this video, I'm going to be discussing whether or not Zoro and Sanji post time skip could escape Impel Down. Now, I personally don't think they could, and my reasoning to this is simple. One, Zoro would be, if they were sent, captured and sent to Impel Down, Zoro would have his sword taken away. Zoro without his sword is Zoro is strong as hell with his fist, don't get me wrong. Like, Zoro can lift a tremendous amount of weight and could take out a lot of people, but without his sword, Zoro is pretty much useless in a real fight. So, yeah, I don't see Zoro really being too useful. You also need to consider that, uh, so San it would be mainly us to Sanji, and you also really need to consider they, there's a big difference between breaking, doing what Luffy did and breaking into Impel Down and actually breaking out of a cage. Like, how would they even get uncuffed? Honestly, I don't think that would, like, they wouldn't be able to get uncuffed. What I quickly want to mention is what people forget about Shiki. Shiki is the only person to ever go to Impel Down and break out. Now, what people need to understand about Shiki is that Shiki is an incredibly powerful pirate because the Shiki that broke out of Impel Down is a completely different Shiki than the one we saw in Strong World. I made a video on this. Go check it out. But the point is, is because that the Shiki we saw in Strong World was a Shiki that was nerfed, essentially, so he could be defeated by Luffy in that movie. The real Shiki is able to keep up with Roger and survive. The real Shiki can fight Sengoku and Garp alone at the same time. The real Shiki is very powerful. So, the only person to ever be in a cage, in a prison cell, in Impel Down and break out is Shiki. People seem to forget that. And you real and the, so the real question here is also, yes, they Zoro and Sanji do break out of the shell, the cell, alright? Who could they defeat? Well, you have to realize, one, there are, uh, uh, there's Sally Chan, I think her name is. There's that one guard, like the torture, BDSM, fetish guard thing. Yeah, her? Yeah, there's her. She's a big threat. Because Zoro won't have sword. Zoro will not have his sword. And Sanji will hit a woman. So, getting around her is going to be very tough. Another thing to consider is Magellan. Like, Zoro is not doing anything to Magellan. And do I think Sanji can beat Mage Magellan at this point? God, I think Magellan's Admiral level. I truly believe Magellan is Admiral level. And that's a whole nother video. But yeah, I think he's Admiral level. And Sanji's not beating somebody at Admiral level. Yeah, I mean... You have to really realize that Luffy, now, if the Luffy went to Impel Down now, he'd be fucked. He's not breaking out. Luffy got out of Impel Down thanks to a help from Jimbe, Ivanko, Crocodile. Hell, indirectly, Blackbeard is one of the reasons he escaped alive because Blackbeard was causing a lot of trouble and distracted everybody. I mean, Luffy had a lot of plot armor. During Amazon Lily, uh, sorry, I burped it. During Amazon Lily, during Impel Down, and during Marine Ford, Luffy was wearing plot armor. If you took away that plot armor, Luffy, well, Luffy would have died on Amazon Lily. You want to know why? Yeah, the plot. Let's be honest. Yes, Luffy did make Hancock like him, like he did gain her respect and then make him her fall in love with him. But why did that happen? Because Luffy needed to live and the plot dictated for him to not die and that was the only way that he could really survive at that point. You, 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 you people don't... I have to plan on doing a video actually. I'm gonna do a video one day on... on should Luffy have been able... should Luffy even be alive right now or something. I don't know what I'm gonna title it. But you know what I'm talking about. About the plot armor and Luffy and Marine Board and stuff. But just try to remember this guy. Luffy alone, post time kid. I don't give a shit about his gear for it. He's not breaking out of Impel Down. If you put him in a cage and Impel Down with Sea Stone Cuffs on, 
whole dot. Whole, whole is right away in there. Yeah, so the conclusion I have come to is that Zoro and Sanji cannot escape Impel Down. Just because Magellan is too strong, Zoro won't have his sword. Sanji's not kicking any of the female guards. Zoro can't, and I don't know if Zoro can beat some of those female guards without his sword. I think some of them, I think they would probably beat him. And then there's the fact that Sanji's not beating Magellan, and Zoro's not a threat to anybody without his sword, in my opinion. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts about this topic in the comment section down below. And please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.